The Douglas County School District welcomes you to this special graduation presentation. Thank you. Thank you all. You can be seated. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark Morgan. I'm the principal here, or I should say principal at Daniel C. Oaks High School. We're here at Castle Rock Middle School. It is with great pleasure and pride that I welcome all of you to the May 2013 Daniel C. Oaks High School commencement ceremony. We are here this morning to celebrate the accomplishments and achievements of 31 special people who have earned their high school diplomas today. I especially want to thank Principal Terry Olson and his staff for hosting our celebration. Before we begin today, we have some honored guests with us here on the stage that I would like to introduce to you all. We have first to my left, Mr. Dan McMinnamy, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. We have Mr. Justin Williams, our Board of Education. Mr. Kevin Larson from our Board of Education. Dr. Elizabeth Fagan, our Superintendent of Schools. And Steve Johnson, our Director of High Schools, who will also be our featured speaker. In the audience we have with us, we call her the matriarch of the Daniel C. Oaks High School family. She had a vision back in 1987 about starting an alternative school to meet the needs of different and divergent learners. She got together with some wonderful people in our district, and together they formed what is now Daniel C. Oaks High School. I would like to introduce to you all the matriarch of the D.C. Oaks family, Miss Betty Meyer. Betty, would you stand?
Also in the audience, we have a great crew of individuals who are dedicated to serving the Douglas County School District. They embody the true spirit of alternative education. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please help me in recognizing the Daniel Seahawks High School staff. You may have heard a few of the students talking. They haven't seen many of our teachers in ties or socks. And so it's a very special day for them. I'd like to share with you all something about our school. Daniel C. Oaks High School is an alternative school. To be precise, we are designated as an alternative education campus by the Colorado Department of Education because at least 95% of our students are considered at risk of not graduating high school. So let me tell you about these students that are up here today. Two of them have plans on enlisting in the armed forces. Four of them will be entering the workforce immediately after graduation, and 27 of them plan on going to college or will be enrolling in some form of higher learning after today. I am very proud of these fine young women and men. They are the very definition of pride. They are the very definition of resiliency. They are glowing examples of what we hope our world to be. So to our seniors, I want to recognize you for the hours of dedication you have put into this school, to your education, and to the community around you. You have worked tirelessly to get where you are today and you have served to make our world a better place. You've brought in thousands of pounds of food for the Women's Crisis and Family Outreach Center. You've built trail in the mountains and you've helped take care of injured wolves. You've volunteered at homeless shelters. You've participated in the Great Denver March powwow and you've volunteered at senior centers. You've acted in plays. You've debated important topics like immigration reform, and you've had great conversations with each other about the true meaning of ethics and morality. You've built trebuchets. You've written poetry. You've been to mosques, temples, and churches together. You've raised money for a classmate with cancer. You've dissected all kinds of things we don't want to talk about, and you definitely know the Bill of Rights. You've read so many books. You've learned how to change a flat tire. You've been mountain biking together, and you've visited college campuses together. You've floated the Colorado River. You've mentored new students. You've supported other students with their sobriety, and you've counseled one another. So this diploma that you are about to receive might almost seem insignificant given the mighty steps that you have taken to get to this day. But please understand, your diplomas hold great value. According to a recent CBS News report, in our nation, nearly one million of the students entering high school next year won't make it to where these students are today. They won't graduate high school. By some accounts, right here in the United States of America, a student drops out of high school every 26 seconds. With a high school diploma, you've already set yourself up to have a better life. You will live longer, and you will live healthier lives. By earning your diplomas today, you have set up your own children to live longer and to live healthier lives. And yes, your earning potential goes up with that diploma as well. You will earn approximately $200,000 more dollars over the course of your lifetimes than you would have if you had chosen to drop out of high school. And that number goes up with a college diploma or if you seek formal training in a trade or craft or enter the military. So you see, not only are you bettering yourself with this diploma, but you are also having a tremendous impact on your family and this community. We are better because of what you have earned and accomplished to get here today. These diplomas are symbols of your tenacity, your courage, your fight, your intelligence, your stamina. You are without doubt the best that the Douglas County School District has to offer this world. I wish you the best as you embark on these next steps in your journeys.
Most importantly, I want to remind you all that you always will be very treasured members of this family we call DC Oaks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to introduce our featured speaker today. Our speaker has devoted 23 years of his life to education right here in Douglas County. He has a bachelor's degree in history from Dartmouth College and a master's degree in education administration from the University of Phoenix. He was a social studies teacher before becoming an administrator. Before becoming our director of high schools, he was an assistant principal at Thunder Ridge High School, and he was the principal at Mountain Vista High School. He and his wife, Diane, are the proud parents of four kids of their own. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Steve Johnson. All right, well, I saw where I was in the program and I didn't have much of a chance to warm up here. Um, Mr. Morgan, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, DC Oaks is a special place and I haven't had the privilege of meeting every one of you individually graduates, but uh, I met a number of you and I've got to tell you that uh, Mr. Morgan speaks very highly of this class, your contribution to DC Oaks, your commitment to making it a better school and I know he's really proud of you, and so are we at the district. Um, we're proud of the work that DC Oaks does, and I really am glad to be here to share a few thoughts with you. All right, so Principal Morgan, uh, colleagues, uh, DC Oaks faculty, uh, staff, parents, grandparents, siblings, other guests, uh, and members of the DC Oaks class of 2013. It is a pleasure to be with you here today. I'm honored by this request, but I will tell you, uh, when I agreed to do this a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't feeling nearly as nervous as I am this morning. And the reason is that three times already, Mr. Morgan has said to me, Steve, I just want you to know, the commencement address that you're doing, this makes or breaks graduations. <laughs> three times, and you saw him a little earlier when he started the ceremony, bend over and talk to everybody, he was telling everybody else this as well. So, uh, the pressure is on. So, let me begin with a disclaimer. Over the last 10 years uh, of my career in Douglas County, I have spoken at a number of graduations, and uh, some of them really big crowds. But I need you to know that it, uh, at least on one occasion, I said something that was very inappropriate. I don't plan to repeat that here, but I'm apologizing in advance. If something slips out, it won't be intentional. I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. Some people who've been around know exactly what I'm talking about, too. Um, I promise not to go on too long. Why bother? Uh, most people say they don't even remember who it was that spoke at their graduation, and they certainly don't remember what they said. So I will, I will try to keep this brief. Now, it would be something if I were the first person in history to say something truly memorable at a graduation. Uh, so I've been looking for inspiration. I've been looking to find something that would spark something memorable to share with the class and with his audience. So where do you, where do you go when you're looking for something memorable or for something that uh, will inspire folks? Some people might say Google. And I suppose you might find something. I take a different approach. I go to the Hallmark card store. <laughs> and I've got a number of cards here, some of my props that I want to share with everybody. Uh, and you'll need to listen to the very end of this message to get a special offer on these cards, which have not yet been written in. <laughs> but they told me I can't return them either. So the first thing I'm going to do is some of the ways cards have changed is now they play music. It's, it's really quite incredible, and they get a lot of money for these things. Uh, but I, I, I appreciate pomp and circumstance. I've heard it about eight times in the last week. But I found this version that I thought the DC Oaks class of 2013 would appreciate. This is sort of pomp and circumstance a la Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. You guys know who Jimi Hendrix is. All right, so pomp and circumstance. I, I want to share with you some of the, the words of wisdom that I came across as I went through some of the cards. So here's, here's one. Dream big, there's no limit to what you can do. Okay, it, it didn't do anything for me either. Uh, here's another one. The cool thing about this card, it says, congrats, so happy for you. 
happy graduation, but this is a card in which you put money. Okay? So I suspect you guys are going to get some of these today. Uh, if anybody needs one, again, the special offer is coming up at the end. Another card uh, presented in answer to the ancient mystery that seemed to hold some promise for this. Why do graduates toss their caps in the air at the end of the ceremony? You know, I was waiting for something deep. No, because their teachers are too heavy. <laughs> that really didn't do it for me either. Here's another one, glowing with potential, sparkling with promise, shining with possibility. And then there's a Cindy Lauper tune here. Okay, well, thanks Cindy. I, I looked for inspiration here until I found out that this card allows you to actually record your own message. This wasn't helpful to me because I would need to be inspired before I'd know what to say into the card and record my saying. So, but again, special offer coming up. All right. Well, in the end, uh, I went with something that I think about lots in different ways. Uh, I want to share with the graduates a metaphor uh, around life that I try to remind myself of and a few things that I, I hope will be helpful to you. And that metaphor is trajectory. So when I was a kid, I used to play with Estes rockets. Anybody ever shoot a model rocket off? They have solid rocket motors and they shoot up and they come back to the air gracefully carried by their parachute. Or sometimes, like my last one, I think, uh, the big wind came up and it blew so far that I never did find it. We chased it in the car, but we couldn't find it. Let me give you a couple definitions for trajectory. One is the path described by a projectile flying or an object moving under the action of given forces. Another one would be the path described by an angry bird moving in the direction deemed most likely to bring down structures and crush pigs. Some of you play angry birds, okay. You know, bullets have trajectories, missiles, basketballs, and yes, graduation caps also have trajectories when they're thrown into the air. The trajectory that I'm thinking of here this morning is the human trajectory. And I've got my own definition for that. And the human trajectory is this, the path described by a human soul moving under the action of powerful forces, life circumstances, and our individual choices. So objects have trajectories, missiles have trajectories, your lives have trajectories, my life has a trajectory. And we need to be mindful of the path that we're moving on in life because unlike a rocket that can't make these choices on its own, we have the ability to affect the path in life that we take. So being in Douglas County here, I, I thought maybe I would start with the four C's, uh, critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, communication. But I, I'm not going to do the four C's. What I want to talk about is four P's, and that's supposed to help you guys remember a little bit here. So my four P's connected with this idea of trajectory and your path through life are people, passion, purpose, and perseverance. These are things that I think are essential to a successful life, a successful life trajectory. So let's talk a little bit about people. To be honest, people can be a pain. But people are essential, okay? So here at DC Oaks, you guys have had supportive friends around you. You've had people to kind of walk through you with difficult circumstances that you faced. I know that you've also depended on your parents, on your siblings, on friends who've attended, on some of the folks out here from DC Oaks who haven't graduated yet. And we need to have people in our lives for this. They're essential for a life trajectory that matters. So I, I encourage you graduates, these are things you already know, but love, forgive, because that's going to happen when you're around people, and be thankful. Express gratitude to the people that have made a difference in your life. And I know you'll do that again uh, as soon as the ceremony is over and you have a chance to reunite with your parents out in the audience. People. A second one is passion. Uh, enthusiasm. It's, it's difficult to be passionate about everything. It's great if you can find passion in your work. I know that the teachers at DC Oaks find that passion in the work that they do with you. And it's wonderful when you can marry passion with what you do every day. 
But I really encourage you, if you haven't found your passion, if you haven't something that really excites you and gives you enthusiasm, keep searching. It'll come. It may come through your work. I hope that it does. But there are many other things that, that you can uh, get that feel from. So life uh, is essentially um, directionless without that passion. So find your passion. A third one, third P, purpose. With a purpose, uh, by, by a purpose, I mean something bigger than yourself. So I just heard Mr. Morgan talk about the Women's Crisis Shelter. Heard him talk about the work you've done with Will, uh, Wolves. I've heard him talk about the work that you have done in visiting some uh, older folks who are in a nursing home. Okay, that's being part of something that's bigger than yourself. It's bigger than um, your own selfish ambition. You guys are doing that, and I encourage you to really continue that as you continue. Perseverance is the last P that I want to mention. And a simple definition of that is continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. And I know some of your stories. If I knew all of you, I would undoubtedly know that you guys have already overcome some difficulties, some challenges. You've faced difficult circumstances. And so you've got this core idea of perseverance and, and to keep going in spite of the odds, in spite of the opposition. So I really encourage you guys to keep that uh, at the forefront in your lives as well. Other challenges uh, are certainly going to present themselves. Uh, today's a great celebration, but you've got a long life where you're going to face additional challenges. Persevere just like you have to this point. All right. Well, as I close, let me uh, tell parents, grandparents, siblings, friends who've not yet purchased a graduation card I've got a few here I will sell you at a greatly discounted rate. <laughs> and to the graduates of Daniel C. Oaks, the class of 2013, you are on a trajectory. And there are a lot of things that aren't in your control that have launched you. You know, genetics plays a part, your faith, your values, I haven't mentioned those. But uh, please keep these in mind. Keep your people close, find new people to embrace as you go on. Follow your passion or keep looking for one that gives you energy. Live with purpose and live on purpose. Do things intentionally in your lives. Serve something bigger than yourself and your own needs and persevere just as, as you have already to this day. So congratulations graduates, uh, class of 2013. In the words and music of one last song, I want you to see this one because it does visual things too. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, class of 2013. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Dan McMinnemy to please join me at the podium. Mr. McMinnemy, I attest and confirm that the students seated on this stage have successfully completed the requirements set forth by the Douglas County School District Board of Education and are deserving of that recognition in the form of a high school diploma. Mr. Morgan and the staff of DC Oaks, congratulations on a job well done. On behalf of the Douglas County School Board and the Senior Cabinet of Douglas County Schools, it's a tremendous honor for me to accept the class of 2013 from D.C. Oaks High School. Okay, we're getting to the best part. At D.C. Oaks, we have several tra traditions, and this one surely is one of our best. At this time, I'm going to read the names of each one of our graduates, and they will come to the podium to accept a certificate of appreciation that they will then present to family members or special guests that are in the audience. And then when they return to the stage, they will accept their diplomas, and then they're going to share a few words with you all. Mr. Austin K. 
Kurt Alexander. Austin will be spending the next year working at Denver International Airport, and then he plans on attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. start by thanking all the uh, staff and students at DC Oaks. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, you've really helped me uh, come a long way. Um, I honestly don't think if I came to o or DC Oaks I'd be graduating right now. Um, it's an amazing school and um, amazing things happen there. I'd also like to thank my parents for um, you know encouraging me to go to DC Oaks because like I said I don't think if I came to DC Oaks, I would be standing up here today. So thank you. Mr. Alexander James Arnick. Alex will attend Arapahoe Community College for his first two years of higher education, and after that he hopes to transfer to Fort Lewis College to study philosophy, music, or writing. I'd like to start with thanking my parents. Uh, I wouldn't be here without them pushing me throughout my high school career to keep moving forward. I'd also like to thank Oaks for giving opportunity to teens like me and for all the great teachers who really changed the way I look at teachers and schooling in general. I wish well for Oaks and its continuation to see past the smoke and mirrors or shadows that society, possibly since the beginning of time, has put between us to think we are all so different and we can't all love each other and have good relationships as people. Not as a jock, drug addict, hip hop head, metal head, or a hippie kid, but as people. I would even go as far as living things. For animals and mother nature love too. Is nature not loving as it flows the water and rains to nourish the plants? One big thing I've learned is that life is all about perspective. I look forward to feed my love of wisdom in the future in my studies of philosophy, music, and writing. Thank you. Mr. Kyle McLennan Barone. Kyle hopes to pursue a career in the medical social work field someday. He will also continue to hone his skills producing music. All right. The first time I have experienced a DC Oaks graduation, a quote came to my mind that would perfectly sum up my experience here and my vision for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I have forgotten that quote. <laughs> I would personally like to thank my mom and dad for helping me have the ambition and drive to finish high school. I would not be here without you guys today. To my little sister Morgan, I'm very proud of you and I know you're gonna go very far in life. Savannah, I love you very much. And to all the staff here at DC Oaks, you guys have been incredible. And to Mr. Daly and Mr. Talbert especially, 
Mr. Daly, you, re you personally restored my faith in humanity. And Mr. Talbert, you taught me what it means to be human and you taught me what humanity is. And I am eternally grateful for you guys. So thank you very much. Mr. Jordan James Brown. Jordan is going into the United States Coast Guard where he wants to pursue He wants to pursue a career in criminal justice or law enforcement. I just wanted to start out by saying thank you to my mom. Without her, none of anything I've ever accomplished in life would have been possible. Without her, she has stayed by, or she has stayed by my side through everything I've been through and through all the choices that I've made. I would also like to thank my grandpa. He has, he has been in my life since I've been little, and he has supported me all throughout high school. All the teachers here have made a big impact on me, but if I had to choose one teacher out of all of them, it would have to be Mr. Marty. He always has been the greatest, he always has had the greatest faith in me and all of his students, and I love listening to his motiva motivational speeches in class. Um, uh, me and him have always had a great con connection and it helped me a lot throughout school. My four and a half years at high school I'm really glad that it was Oaks I chose to finish it out with. Thank you. Mr. Austin Robert DeLore. Austin plans to wander, discover his passion, before deciding on a college that he hopes to attend. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Cheyenne Noreen Drake. Cheyenne plans on working to save money for college, and she eventually wants to become a veterinarian.
Okay, so life is the most exciting opportunity we have as people, and we only have one shot at it. You graduate high school once in your lifetime, and after that, you're flying out of that nest and that nest only. We have to find the courage to spread our wings and fly ourselves out along the way. And I'd like to thank Daniel C. Oaks for giving me that courage to fly. I couldn't be any happier graduating from such an amazing school with such amazing people. The school has made such a positive impact on my life and future, and I literally would not be able to do it without any of you. I survived high school because of Oaks and all the people here. You guys are my second family, and I love the whole staff, all my friends, and everyone that came along with my journey. I'd like to thank my mom, my brother, my brothers, girlfriends, Sierra, David, and Kimmy <laughs> for helping me so much. I love you guys, and thank you for everything. <laughs> Mr. Evan Henson Elmore. Evan will be attend attending Arapahoe Community College, and he eventually wants to become a mechanic. Wow, I can't believe I'm finally graduating. I would first like to thank my family for always being by my side. Second, I would like to thank the DC Oaks staff. Without them, I probably wouldn't be standing up here today. So thank you for everyone who believed in me. Mr. Ryan Joseph Blurry. Ryan plans to continue working while he decides on whether to join the United States Air Force or enroll at Arapahoe Community College. start by thanking my family if it wasn't for them pushing me through my life very well wouldn't be here today and secondly I'd like to thank the staff who taught me to keep a positive attitude and keep going and that's what got me through high school thank you Mr. Tyler John Heidi. <laughs> Tyler begins his internship at Echo Star on June 3rd in their software development department. He eventually wants to attend Metropolitan State University of Denver to study mechanical engineering.
everyone. Um, there's just a few people I'd like to thank, starting with my parents. Um, they were there to support me with any decision I'd want to make for the positive. Um, I'd like to thank, thank the DC support staff, which I see over on the stairs, Ms. Lanning and Mr. Simington. You guys are awesome. Without your help, I wouldn't be where I am today or where I'm going today. Um, I'd like to thank the administration at Legend High School. I see Ms. Farley over there in the back corner. Thank you for coming. And I'd like to thank, thank the uh, DC Oaks staff for supporting me along the way. But the, even though I was only at Oaks for one semester, it definitely made the difference. So thank you. Miss Ashley Caitlin Hounschel. Ashley will be moving to Florida in the fall, where she plans on attending Florida School of Massage Therapy. done for me. Thank you for being a part of my life. Without my mother, I wouldn't be here today. Mom, you're an amazing person, <laughs> and I'm grateful for having you in my life. <laughs> Always remember, if you were a flower, I'd pick you. At Oaks, I met my best friend, Christian. He who shows me that being a good person is truly attainable. Thank you for staying by my side and all the love you have given me. Before I came to Oaks, I felt like a bird couldn't find in a conceptual box others had built for me. With the love, acceptance, patience, and guidance from my teachers, I was able to break free. I am now as a bird free to fly anywhere I please. The greatest lesson I have learned from my teachers is that you never stop learning. MJ Ryan describes it perfectly in The Power of Patience. Look around you and recognize that learning can be found in everyone and anyone, everywhere and anywhere. You just have to widen your perspective. I appreciate that my teachers never treated me as if I was below them and never told me that I should be anyone who I wasn't. To show my immense gratitude to the staff of Daniel C. Oaks, I intend to pass on the love, acceptance, and respect to anyone who crosses my journey. This is by far the greatest school on the Outer Rim. Peace. Miss Hannah Lee Marie Jesser. Hannah is going to attend school in hopes of one day becoming a certified nursing assistant. thanking my mom 
She's always been my inspiration and my hero. And I'd like to thank my brother. He's my best friend and I know he's always been there. And I'd like to thank my grandpa, but he's not here today. But he's been my father figure. And I'd like to thank Mr. Marty for always being the best person to talk to about anything. And I love the staff. And I'm going to miss you guys so much. Thank you. Miss Ellie McKenna Cord. <laughs> Ellie will be attending Portland State University in the fall to study African Studies and Secondary Education. She hopes to one day run a school in Africa. Um, I would like to start off by thanking my parents for supporting me through everything. Um, it's been a journey these past four years, but I could not have done it without you guys. You made me who I am. You guys are not only my role models, but you are my best friends. And I, I would not be here without you guys. I would like to thank the staff at DC Oaks. You guys did not just help me to become the person I am today, but you taught me the power of love and how far love and gener generosity can go for someone and how it can cure so much. So thank you guys. I would not be here without you. Mr. Tanner Hamilton Lane. Tanner wants to get into the field of music therapy. He's going to take some time off and look at colleges while starting a band. start off by thanking all the friends and family that came out here to see me today. Friends from school, family from out of town. I came to the school trying to get away from all the issues that I had in traditional school, having troubles with grades, troubles with people. To start new and open fresh, this school gave me the change that I needed, the change that I was looking for. With all the interesting people I've met and all the stories I've acquired over this year, for Mitch burning cup of noodles in his class more than he should have. <laughs> to the grueling 12 mile hike that left everyone so tired at Ben's Fort. The school's helped me not grow as only a student, but as a person. I have learned over this past couple weeks how hard work can pay off, even in the last few moments that you can have. <sighs> These diplomas aren't just pieces of paper to me. These aren't just pieces of paper to any of us. They're a chance for a better future, a chance for a better life, better jobs, and more money. We are here to say that we are gonna make it in the future. And the only reason I say chance is because there is no promise for where we are going to go. There's no promise for who we will be or who we will become, but with these diplomas, we even the odds of making it better. So I'd like to share a poem from Joanna Fuchs. Now that you've graduated, your adventure has begun. Your school has prepared you for the race life has you run. We praise you for your efforts and send good wishes too, for a future filled with happiness and your fondest dreams come true. So to my graduating class of 2013, thank you all. Miss Brianna Elizabeth Lash.
Breezy will be attending Metropolitan State University of Denver to study psychology. My experience at DC Oaks has been one heck of a roller coaster ride. I've made new friends, met really awesome teachers, and worked really hard to get to this moment. There are so many people that I'd like to thank for helping me get here. I'd like to start off with my mom. Thanks for always being there for me and not giving up on me, even though I've been a real big pain in the butt. Also, the staff at DC Support Center, you guys really helped me get back on track. Um, last but not least, the DC Oak staff. Thanks for making me, or thanks for making this day here enjoyable. Mr. Andrew William Mead. Andrew plans to take some time off to play music and travel, and after that, he hopes to pursue a career in education or organic agriculture. tell you how nervous you're really going to be up here, but, uh, okay, so, first off, I would like to thank my mom for supporting me through this journey. It's been a long road, but you always stood by me. Thank you. I love you. And, uh, next, I would like to thank all my true friends at Oaks, you guys wreck, and, uh, I would like to thank my girlfriend, Mariah, you're awesome, I love you. And uh, next, I would like to thank the teachers and the staff of Daniel C. Oaks High School. Each one of these people are all highly effective educators in their own individual way, and I'd like to give them all another round of applause. And uh, now I would like to address the folks sitting behind me. You have accepted our class and are presenting us with our diplomas, saying that we, the class of May 2013, have met the requirements to graduate high school. But for all of us up here, and for all the students out there, it means a lot more to us than that. It means that we all took an initiative to find ourselves in education, and at Oaks, that's exactly what you can find. For education is more than just a passing grade or jumping through hoops. For a lot of students, including myself, it's about finding a passion for knowledge we never knew we had. And it all goes back to the teachers and staff of DC Oaks. It's difficult to really explain how much they do for us. It's not something you can simply measure or calculate by tests or computers. It's way bigger than that. It's measured by us, the students. And I can guarantee the results of the knowledge you gain from Oaks is yet another generation of young adults to walk away from this place better prepared for the obstacles that this world will challenge us with. And I trust in my peers to go into society and create a better future because of the knowledge we have obtained from Oaks. So again, teachers, staff, you guys are awesome. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to thank the administration for accepting our class. We will not let you, no. we will not let you down. From the words of Bob Dylan, 
Become mothers and fathers throughout the land, and don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Your old road is rapidly aging. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend a hand, for the times, they are a-changing. Thank you. Miss Taylor Ray Mueller. Taylor's going to take some time off and save money to attend college, and she eventually wants to become a veterinarian also. I did it. I'm so surprised. I want to thank DC Oaks for giving me a second chance and believing in me. I also want to thank everyone else who has been there for me and who has kept me motivated. Thank you all. Miss Layla Eden Ogle. After a brief break, Layla will be attending Aveda Institute in Denver to study cosmetology. try really 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 hard not to cry so bear with me okay. before arriving at Oaks I had no sense of direction or self I was too scared to make any concrete decisions about life I struggled to convey my opinions and ideas I was on my way to a very dark place but then I had a friend convince me that Oaks would change everything for me and it did I have never had more self-confidence in my entire life this school has taught me how to finally be strong and independent. Every single person in this school, the teachers, students, and staff have all helped form who I am today. From struggling to make ends meet at my old school to now graduating an entire year early, I'm so proud to be a Daniel C. Oaks graduate. Without my family, friends, and all the teachers' support and guidance, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Thank you all so much. Mr. Andrew Joseph Owens. Andrew will start this fall at Fort Lewis College where he will study political science.
I would like to start out thanking my parents. They've always been there for me when I've needed them. I'd also like to thank the Oak staff. Mr. Daly for teaching me economics and showing me that school success can create a better learning environment. Mr. Fleshman for teaching me all 27 amendments of the Constitution, which I plan on using for the rest of my life and career. Ms. Gorm for teaching me algebra isn't that bad and showing me that I'm not the only person who still loves cheesy 80s music. <laughs> Ms. Hankamp for show, or challenging me to read more. Mr. Marty for teaching me valuable life lessons and how to apply any learning to everyday life. Mr. Mueller for being the first teacher to talk to me at Oaks and showing me the fun in physics. <clears throat> Mr. Pollitt for showing me the structures of writing essays in the MLA header. Mr. Talbert for teaching me philosophy and greatly impacting what I want my career to be. Ms. Vargas for helping me get into college and always helping me any way she could. Mr. Wood for teaching me how to be open-minded in his classes and showing me that I love the outdoors. Last but not least, Mr. Young for teaching me history and how it affects us every day. Ms. Kellyanne Taylor Oxley. Kellyanne plans to attend school for mortuary science and also plans to pursue a career in acting. Well, I had a speech, but I'm too nervous to read it. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking my parents and my boyfriend Truman and all the teachers at Oaks. You guys really are amazing people. And whoever said that Disneyland is the happiest place on earth obviously hasn't been to DC Oaks. <laughs> Ms. Heather Jan Preston. <laughs> Heather will be working for a year to save up for massage therapy school. I'd like to start off thanking my parents, my mom and my dad, you're wonderful. Um, Michael, I love you. Um, and of course all my teachers, you guys are awesome. Um, I am forever in debt to you guys for all the time, love and persistence that you guys have put into making sure that my life is a success and that I keep on bettering <coughs> myself. I will always be proud to call myself an Oaks kid. Thank you. Mr. Adam Steelman Ray. Adam plans to attend the Community College of Denver, 
where he hopes to become an author and possibly join the Peace Corps. I was told to write a speech, but I am not one to preach. I stand upon the stage to thank all of every age who helped me through this time, whether it be good or in grime. From my humble Oaks friends to my teachers helping with loose ends, you are all a steady support dream. At times, this place felt like a dream. Today is our day to shine, to burn bright and be divine. Like dandelions we all spread, east, west, north, south, here, or ahead. All this love and support, just look around. The sails are set, onward we go. Into the great sea, be fast or slow. Let our hearts be our compass and our heads be the map. I know we will change the world. Mr. Cameron Bryce Rendell. Cameron plans on attending Arapahoe Community College for general studies before transferring to a four-year university. First off, I want to thank my mom and my dad and everyone who came out for this, my family, my girlfriend, friends, you know, just everybody who helped me throughout the years and eventually led me to this point, the whole DC Oak staff. And I, I didn't know that the support center was here too, so thank you guys. You guys were a big help. I will always be grateful for everyone's support. And, you know, it's been a long couple of years, and to finally get to this point is amazing, so thank you. Mr. James Thomas Rockhold. James is planning on taking a year off before going to college. In the meantime, he will work part-time and produce music. It's changed a lot since being at Oaks this past year. In what feels like such a short amount of time, I've learned many new things and made a lot of new friends. Everything I've learned at Oaks will continue to help me in many ways throughout my life. With that being said, I'd like to take the time to, think, to thank all the members of the DC Oaks staff. I'd also like to thank my mother and my entire family for also being huge supporters throughout the years. And I'd also like to thank my girlfriend for helping me out. I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you. Mr. Cooper Joseph Segetti.
Cooper's going to take some time off and travel a bit. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone here at DC Oaks. It's been an amazing experience and it's been a hell of an opportunity and I really wouldn't trade it for anything. But above all, I'd like to thank my mom for never giving up even long after I did. So thank you for everything. Miss Nellie Nicole Simons. <laughs> Nellie will be attending the Community College of Denver in the fall, and for now she's going to take general studies courses while figuring out her major. graduated now. <laughs> um, people say that high school is some of the best years you'll have in your life. I truly do believe that. I also believe that there are bigger and better things in life though and I'm excited to experience those too. But I will really miss Oaks and everyone there as well. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for helping me get through this and loving me no matter what decision I've made. I'd also like to thank all my teachers for being so caring and helping me discover who I am. I appreciate everything you've done for me. And for my friends and my boyfriend, you're all legit. So, <laughs> thanks for helping me out too. Thanks. Miss Daniel. Danielle Renee Singer. Danielle has been accepted to Fort Lewis College beginning in the fall and she plans to major in art. I'd like to start off by thanking my grandparents and my uncle for coming into town to see me graduate today. It really means a lot to me, thank you guys. Um, I'd also like to thank my mom and my dad for the years of putting up with my nonsense. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Kelly Gorham for always having a great sense of humor, uh, Robert Marty for giving me guidance when I needed it, uh, Gretchen Hincamp for always being someone to talk to. Uh, Doug Talbert for opening my and so many other people's minds. Uh, Richard Young for challenging me and giving me the confidence to study art. Um, Derek Fleshman for being the older brother to us all and watching out for us all. Um, Jules Daly for working so hard with all the students and always being such a warm man. Um, I'd also like to thank Mark Morgan and the rest of the staff for making Daniel C. Oaks one of the most amazing schools ever. And um, I've had a million awesome memories over the last two years and I have everyone, the staff and the student body to thank for that. So thank you all. Miss Catherine Ann Spencer. Katie's going to be taking some time off to be a mom, and then she will attend Concord Career College to become a surgical technician.
I didn't know it. <laughs> I didn't know it when I was little, but I'm one of the lucky ones. I was blessed with an amazing family who go who would go to the end of the world and back for me. Not to mention all the hours my parents have spent cheering me on at sporting events, crying at Christmas pageants, and going through all the mistakes I've made with me. I never would have been able to persevere and get through high school without them. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you. Even though it felt like one family was enough at most times, I have a second. My classmates and teachers and counselors and staff were always there to listen to me when I needed an ear or a shoulder to cry on and a push to keep me going. But there's one particular individual I will never forget about. He's a big reason why I kept faith in myself. I met him the first day of my freshman year, and I'll never forget what he asked our class. Would you rather be out on your own and stupid or out on your own and smart? <laughs> and to me, that didn't mean I needed to know math facts and vocabulary words. But after listening to this man for four years, it means not focusing on the bad things, but doing everything I can to be successful and make the right choices and be a good mother to my daughter. So thank you, Mr. Marty, and the rest of my Oaks family. I love you. Mr. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Marco Momo Littlefoot Trujillo. Yeah! Marco is going to continue working with his father in the home remodeling field. I didn't think I was going to make it here today, but I did. Um, I would like to start by saying thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping me and supporting me through the whole time. I don't think I would have ever made it through high school if it wasn't for them. Um, I would like to also thank God because if I didn't have God in my life, I don't know where I'd be. I want to thank all the staff at DC Oaks, because you know, they're some of the best teachers in the world. And uh, thanks for everyone who supported me. Mr. Jacob Mark Vasek. Jake's going to be attending Arapahoe Community College, and after that, he hopes to transfer to the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs, where he wants to major in outdoor leadership and take some photography.
Well, I honestly couldn't leave here today without thanking some very important people in my life. I have to start with my brother James. There he is right there. <laughs> Thinking back on the memories, man, it's, it's really cool, especially today. We had a lot of good childhood memories. And you know, aside from that, though, you've been a mentor to me, a teacher. And I'll always love you for that. You've given me advice and always looked out for me. Thank you, man. Next up, we have Mr. Drew DeLore up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I met you, what, seventh grade? And uh, I don't know, when I first met you, you cracked me up so much. And ever since then, we've been good friends, and you've helped me shape my life. You, you've taught me a lot. You are a very intelligent kid, man. You're going to go far. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> Before I came to Oaks, I went to DC support. Some of them are over there, some of them are over there. I love them all. Those were some of the happiest days of my life and they helped me through everything, man. I, I don't remember ever having a bad day there and I truly thank you for that. You guys are doing wonderful things there. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we have the Oaks staff Great people, man. You, you teach so much uh, daily. Your wisdom on Ben's Fort and, and uh, every other trip, you know, you just you spread so much joy. And thank you for that. Um, Marty, Marty, your life lessons, man. I love them every day. Every, every time I had your class, you spread joy through those little teachings. And Paulet, you taught me a lot about fish. I was in your clubs. I was in all of them, except for theater. but. You know, I loved it, and thank you all very much. Um, add one more. Oh yeah, Mama, where you at? <laughs> I have one thing to ask of you. Stand up in front of all these people, show them your beautiful face, and everyone give her a round of applause, please. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> Miss Hannah Kathleen Waddell. Hannah will attend the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design to earn a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. thank my family for always being there for me and never giving up on me and I want to thank I would also like to thank the DC Oak staff and students for helping me get to this point I want to mainly thank Woody for helping me understand how much I love the outdoors and thank you for taking me on Moab also I'd like to thank Daly for keeping me mo motivated and creative in art thank you guys Mr. Lucas John Wilk. <laughs> Lucas wants to go to school for photography and eventually wants to become an underwater photographer.
<clears throat> so I'd like to start off by thanking my family. If it wasn't for them dealing with all my stuff and being there for me even when I didn't want to move on, I wouldn't be standing here today. I wouldn't be alive today. So I just want to say thank you to my family. You guys have always been there for me. My sister, I love you. I love all of you. I'd also like to thank the DCX staff for doing what you do. You guys proved to me that there's still people out there that care about people like us. So thank you guys so much for that. And there's one more person I'd like to thank. He's the member of the Douglas County Outdoor Education Center. His name is Dennis Ingram. He's standing right up there. That man took me into his family with everyone else doubting him. He gave me a chance. He showed me that respect is earned, not given. And he showed me that second chances should never be wasted. So thank you. And to all the Oaks kids out there and all the graduates up here, in the words of our principal, Mr. Morgan, stay frosty. Congratulations to all of you. You gave amazing speeches. Our graduates would like to express their gratitude to a few folks here today. They would like to express their thanks to their parents, family members, former teachers and administrators, employers and friends. You have all played a significant role in making this graduation possible. I really do believe that DC Oaks is the embodiment of the notion that it takes a village to raise a child. I'd really like to thank some other folks here. Uh, who have done a tremendous effort in helping our kids get to where they are today. A few of our kids mentioned them. I'd really like to thank Jan Lanning and her staff at the Douglas County Student Support Center. We recognized him just a few minutes ago, but we can't go without recognizing Mr. Denny Ingram at our Outdoor Education Center. We'd also like to thank Gary McCusker and the folks at Parker Evangelical Presbyterian Church. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Gary has led a little effort, a coalition of churches who have brought to us Burrito Thursdays for the last several years. We would also like to thank Chris Lazarus and the Cohen family for their generosity and the money that they have donated to our students. You know, our kids talked a lot about DC Oaks being a special place, and we really do believe that DC Oaks is a special place because of the arena that we work in. And what I'd like to do is I would like to recognize if you are a staff member of the D Douglas County School District, but you're not a member of DC Oaks, you've just come to our graduation because you want to support our kids, would you all please stand? Now we have just one final event before we finally bring this graduation ceremony to a close. And I promise I'll give you all a great opportunity to take some pictures. So graduates, if you would please rise. At this time, I would like to introduce to you all our valedictorian, Mr. Andrew Haas Owens.
the steps, if you please come forward. Two steps down. And then our second row, I'd like you guys to come stand behind them right here. And then Andrew, you're gonna come over here. What we're gonna do now is, before Andrew everybody in the turning of the tassels, if you have a camera and you need to get closer, come on up, please. Fill the middle, come on up here, get ready. We wanna make sure that you all have a great shot. And Andrew, what we're gonna do is Andrew's gonna go ahead and lead our, our graduates with the turning of the tassels, and then we're gonna let them stand there for a long time so that you can take your pictures, okay? So Andrew, when you're ready, you go for it, buddy. I want you all to stand for a moment, let everybody get their pictures taken. Smile bright, smile big, stand strong and tall. And then once you've got your pictures taken, we are going to have to clear that path in the middle.